in amazing and beautiful hours like now we have great opportunity to focus our mind and to listen to the sound of the Creator that is speaking to each and every single one of us using our own treasure of words, our vocabulary, using the amazing senses of our minds, of our hearts. The Creator is touching our soul through those most gentle, thin lines that are attaching our spiritual being to the most gentle layer of physicality. And through those feelings and senses, thoughts and ideas of our minds, of our hearts, He is attaching us to thicker layers with more colors, with more thicknesses, with more qualities that are all bottom line reflecting his unity in so many ways through so many angles beautiful colors beautiful amazing smells sights shades of lights are all reflecting to us the one and only the maker himself and he is the one that is above all the worlds beyond all the reflections above infinity itself standing always in his mystery beyond a place that any mind can grasp and from that highly and holy place supervising watching and controlling mm. all sides and aspects of this creation's being and he's the one and only who ever did and doing and will do everything that moves everything that comes to any kind of form into our lives He's maintaining and reviving it, revealing it, and opening the creation like a blooming flower. Revealing to all of us the great light of His endless kindness, His unconditional love, in all the forms that we can experience, in delicious flavors and tastes, in amazing smells, beautiful sights of views, sunsets and sunrises, shades and sparks of light on the wa waves of water in all the springs in all the lakes and all the rivers all the ponds all the oceans all the waves that ever moved through all the angles of light that breaks onto the water onto the ice onto the flowers to the trees to the grass to the mountains to the mountain peaks all the creations are reflecting his unity all the animals that walks and cross the deserts that are walking on the sides of the mountains on all the trails in all the valleys drinking the water from all the ponds from all the lakes all the butterflies and all the birds that are singing that are tweeting all the animals all the creations all the men and women all the babies all the laughs all the mm. joys all the clouds and all the beams of light that came out of the sun since the first moment of creation all the bright nights that the moon was shining mm. on all the roads and all the paths mm. throughout all the generations mm. the light is one and it's mm. the light of infinity and mm. throughout all those amazing moments that the creator shined his light at the same time, there was also a force that was separating and blocking the light in the aspect of the dark side of the moon. And from that side, darkness came out to the world 
and weird kinds of species of animals, of creatures of the nights, of negative thoughts, of sadness and depression, anger and rage, envy and jealousy, all kinds of negative way of thinking and twisted mindsets, all kinds of violence and corruption, all horrible people and human beings and creations and demons and ghosts and dark magicians and black and awful forces of evil, villains, came out to block the light that is shining from the divine source and to each and every moment of those moments who ever existed in all the aspects to all the creations to all the people to all the animals even to the elements to the stones to the sand to the water to the fire to the air to all creations that ever experienced any experience that they ever experienced to all those in the moment of redemption the creator will shine his light the redemption will not take place in the future it will start in that moment that will take place in the future but when it will take place in that moment in time in the time of redemption it will hit gigantic waves like an enormous tsunami and the circles will expand and expand and expand and the limitation of time and place will vanish melt and disappear from the world and there will be no more past no more future there will be only the present time and in that present time that not for an empty reason is called a present because it will reveal the present that is treasured within it the kindness of Hashem will shine and the redemption will take place in all the moments to all the creations that ever lived and not only once in their lifetime that all of them will be redeemed in any moment of their existence they will experience a full redemption you will experience the redemption in millions of millions of expressions it will take place in your life in any moment of your existence since the first moment that you were created inside the holy and highly body of Adam and Eve and when you passed in a new lifetime to be inside of one of their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and on through thicker to thinner branches until today that you find yourself inside that tiny 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 fragile branch tiny branch in the edge of the tree so fragile so shaky and the master of the universe is keep sending you life from within the inner side of the branches the tree of life is reviving you and maintaining you alive for you to experience the great redemption in its peak of blooming and the rising of the shining dawn and it is happening right now and it will take place in our lives and in the lives of all our loved ones and in the lives of all the ones who ever lived and that will be the expression of that term the resurrection of the dead that they will all come back to life and we will all live together united with bonds of love holding hands together all our ancestors everyone will live on the same platform 
on the same planet, on the same time, in the same world, and from all four wings of the universe, we will all wake up in all the moments of our existence, not only in the present time of the now, in all the moments that we ever experienced the now, in the present time that we ever experienced, because time is also a creation. The Creator is not limited to time. Time is eternal, always. There is no limitation of time in no place but in our minds that our minds are limited to that kind of constriction. But in reality there is no time. We are beyond time and therefore exactly as that this now is eternal and in an endless way you can connect yourself to the maker of the universe and you are one with him right now also one moment ago you experienced the same thing and you were able to be one with him because you were one with him the only question is were you connected to him with your mind were you nullifying yourself to him in that moment but in reality, in a hidden and deeply mysterious way, every moment is an expression of infinity. And you can find that infinity inside the cells of creation, in the atoms that are running, speeding, in an endless dance, circling and surrounding themselves, surrounded by the God, the Spirit, Ruach Elohim, that is floating and hovering above the water, surrounding each and every cell of creation, always the Spirit of God, Ruach Elohim, the Spirit of Hashem, and like the Zohar Kadosh is saying, that is the Spirit of Mashiach, that is revealing the light of Hashem to you, to us, while we are experiencing this amazing epiphany. He's talking to us from within our own hearts and revealing this endless wisdom that the Almighty, the source of love, is covering us, wrapping us, healing us, protecting us, maintaining us, and redeeming us. And any moment that was ever existed since before time was invented and created shall be redeemed in complete redemption in all its aspects in all its angles you and i we all together will experience the redemption in endless aspects and angles of our beings and we will travel freely with no limitations beyond time not tied to no place and with no harm and no sadness we will experience redemption all forces of darkness shall be removed evacuated taken away they will be pulled down to the core of the universe. They will become the flaming fire, the inner heat that will warm the world for 1,000 years of prosperity and complete redemption, greatest than we will ever be able to imagine. But we will experience it in that time when all our prayers will take place will be answered will be seen will be revealed and above the limitation of place and time Mashiach Tzidkenu will gather us all from four wings of the universe all those billions and billions of people who were ever created in all their 
moments to the temple of Hashem that in that day will be called the house of prayer for all nations and everyone will be welcomed to call Hashem in His name and there will be place for everyone and everyone will inherit His land and His home and His quiet and His completion surrounded with all His loved ones and it is happening in our days in front of our eyes in the present time that is the time for the present to enjoy from our endless connection to our Maker, our unity with Him, with His Torah, with His people, through our inner souls. And may it take place in harmony, quiet, peace, and eternal joy in our days. Amen.